Diabetes is the fourth leading cause of death in Bear County and sixth in the state of Texas. But it, you can prevent it, and here to tell us more about diabetes and how to prevent it is Tejano Great, Raulito Naivara, and Dr. Padrisha Saravia, a primary care physician at WellMed. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Now, Raulito, yes. you actually have diabetes. Tell us what it was like when you first got the diagnosis. Well, you know, you're young, and you, you think, oh, well, I'm all right. You know, I don't, I don't like sweets. You know, uh, so I can have diabetes, but it's just, you know, the way we grew up, especially here in San Antonio. Right. I mean, we grew up with tortillas a morning, noon, and night, you know, and uh, thanks to WellMed, you know, they've uh, helped me out a lot, especially with my mom because she's diabetic. And, uh, you know, it's not just diabetes, but heart disease that WellMed has helped me because my brother passed away of a heart attack. And uh, now they've been helping me and educating me on, you know, what to eat, what not to eat, how to take care of yourself, exercise, and all that stuff. And there's a lot of, uh, well, I, I call my people, the Hispanics out there, that, you know, just because they say that they don't eat sweets or, or, or uh, you know, anything, they don't have a sweet tooth, doesn't mean that you, you don't right. have diabetes. It's the pastas, the beans, right. and the rice, and all that. And I never, I was that person. Right. So now with WellMed, and, and it's dear to my heart because my family, my dad had diabetes, and my mom has diabetes, and my brother died of heart disease. You know, it's important to me to get the word out because because it's his, such an yeah. incredibly serious issue, especially here in San Antonio. And for you, it, you know, it's incredibly yeah. close, close to your heart and close to home. You know? So, doctor, tell us a little bit about the warning signs that people need to look out for. Because they, they may not even notice some of them, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Because some of those warning signs are actually a little bit vague and a little tricky to recognize. Um, fatigue is a big one. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of reasons for fatigue. But one of them may be diabetes. Um, feeling very thirsty, feeling very hungry all the time, that can actually be another uh, symptom. Um, having numbness or tingling in your feet, that's a, that's a fairly common one as well. And um, slow healing ulcers or wounds, that can all be signs of diabetes. But all of those things can be signs of lots of different issues. So it's important to see your doctor because really blood tests are the only way to get diagnosed. And catching something like this in the earlier stages is much more um, to Manageable. your advantage right. yeah, than finding out too late. Right. And so speaking of managing it, what can folks do to help avoid it? Right. Yes. So that's just as important. So, And I'm glad that you pointed out it's not just sugar, because we all think of diabetes as a sugar problem. But carbohydrates are a huge food group that need to be recognized. And so while it's important to talk about everyone's diet and you know what you can't eat, I do also like to talk to my patients about rediscovering foods that you can eat, because nobody likes to be told, by the way, yes. all of what you're eating <laughs> is bad. Yeah. None of it. It's right. Because <laughs> then people are left feeling, well, I'm just going to be hungry all the time, and what's the point in trying? So I think it's really important to also talk about the healthy foods mm -hmm. that maybe you've just forgotten that you actually really like and bring those back. Of course, movement. And again, it doesn't have to be the traditional exercise where you're going to go to the gym for 30 minutes, mm -hmm. 60 minutes. It just means moving more. Right. Um, and that can actually be spread out throughout the day. There's lots of uh, research now showing that you don't have to do these mm -hmm. exercises in one block lump. And, and so then lastly, sure of course, we're, we're, I'm so sorry, we are no, out of time. Just smoking. don't avoid smoking, yeah, of course. Really. All right. Thank you so much for being here, Raulito hey, and Doctor. Thank you so much. Remember, November 6th, yes. uh, if you are 60 years of age or older, you can check out that dance for free at Rosedale Park Wednesday. November 6th. For more information on WellMed, just head to their website, wellmedfindadoctor.com, or give them a call at 888-781-9355. That's 888-781-9355. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you.